right off the bat, I just want to apologize for sounding like garbage. <laughs> I mean, not feeling too great, so I got to pound out a couple videos for you guys. And I apologize for sounding not so great, but I'm still, I guess I got to get it out to you guys. Don't worry about it. I got you. So before we start talking about the Raptor game, let's give congratulations to Toronto FC for making it on to the MLS Cup. I mean, come on. It's not the Argos, where there's like six teams, right? This is a full league. They made it to the finals. They played uh, December 10th, the Saturday. It's exciting. Congratulations to them. Now, let's talk about the Raptor game because you know what? They've won, you know, four straight. As we're talking about, the boys are playing really good ball right now. Um, but they didn't play their best game today. First quarter was awful. I mean, turnover after turnover after turnover. And for some reason, they still only lost the quarter by three points. So they were still in the game. I mean, it was just a rough game overall. They ended up with 18 turnover, <clears throat> 18, tur 18 turnovers. There we go. See what I'm talking about? My throat hurts, so it's getting all voice craziness. Um, but just, you know, it was it was a it was a grinded out, greasy type of game. And then the second half, and they were totally they were a totally different team. You know, they ended up winning the third quarter by nine, 34-25, and winning the fourth quarter by eight. 31-23. They were just really good and uh, really impressed with the way they fought and grinded this game out. But the main reason this team won was the bench. They were unbelievable. Yes, Damari Carroll was great and shot 6 of 11, which is great. Fantastic numbers. Kyle Lowry with 29. Damari had 20, uh, 24, but he had 9 rebounds, so it was a big night for him there on the glass. But the main reason this team won was because of Patrick Patterson and Corey Joseph. Patrick Patterson, ladies and gentlemen, had a double-double, 14 points and 13 boards. I mean, he was I he was dynamite, right? He, was, he shot 50% from the field. He shot four of six from deep. He's starting to find his stroke, and that's what we need coming off the bench. Somebody to really force the other team's bench to do that much better. Corey Joseph out of his 16 and had eight rebounds for a point guard of his size. He looked very good today. He shot 4 of 8, 50%. You know, he, he was uh, very good. And it, it just overall, you know, games like this are going to happen where you don't play your best game, but you find a way to win. Yes, Memphis is hurt, and they're not, you know, they're not a very good team as of right now because Mike Conley's out. Obviously, Vince Carter didn't play. So it's like they're, they're missing some key guys, but that's where you got to take advantage of those teams and put them down. And they did tonight, and they finished them off nicely. Hey, the Raptors shot 55%, and shot 50% from three. They were good. The, the shooting has not been a problem this year, but they out-rebounded them, and I think that was the big thing. Obviously, Patrick Patterson having the double-double, the, the double and, and Kojo having eight boards, and DeRozan with nine. You know, we, we, we had a plus 12 on the rebounds this game. They were so key, and they did so well, it was just great. Now the Raptors are twelve and six on the year. Remember back to we were when we were like nine and six and eight and six, where we're like, man, the Leafs have the same record. Well, that's kind of changed. The Raptors have won four straight, and they're starting to beat some beat some teams, right? And, and yes, they have maybe a little bit of a favorable schedule. Obviously, playing Philly in the last game and and a hurt Memphis Grizzlies team this time, you know, and, and you're gonna get those wins, but you have to win. I mean, we saw against Sacramento both games. That's a team you got to beat, and they couldn't. So that's why we play, because you never know what's going to happen. Big win for the, the guys tonight, though. Obviously, you know, the craziness of yesterday. Yes, they didn't play, but Cleveland lost. San Antonio lost, you know, and the, and, uh, the Clippers lost. A whole bunch of craziness happened last night. And for the Raptors to come out today, not play their best, but still get the win, it was nice. And I forgot to mention DeRozan had six assists as well. So yes, he's not shooting uh, the 30 plus points as we've as we've gotten to know a little bit. But, you know, adding with nine rebounds and six assists, and that's a different part of his game. You know, DeMar DeRozan only shot nine times this game. Nine field goals. Yes, he did have 11 free throws, I guess. But nine shots. He was six of nine. He shot 66%. But he was such a non, you know, he wasn't such a, oh, what's the word to use? He wasn't selfish, 
You know, Kyle Lowry had the hot hand. He shot 8 of 13 and was 9 of 10 shooting the uh, uh, free throws. He was also 4 of 7 from 3. Right, Kyle Lowry was really good. So what does DeMar get do? Here, here, go go have fun, Kyle. Go have fun. And that's what he did. And that's the reason this team won, was because this team was not selfish tonight. Very impressed with the the win. Yes, they didn't play well, but they grinded and grinded. And that's what's going to have to happen. If you're a good team, you cannot play your best, grind, and find a way to win. And they found a way to win tonight. That's, that's, that's great. So, with the win in, in our back pocket, let's move on. We play Friday night at home, game three of five on the home stand. The LA Lakers come to town, and they're having a pretty darn good season. Well, you know what? I'm not going to say a pretty good darn good season, but better than what people expected. They're 9-10 and 10 on the year. They've got some really good young players, so, you know, it's going to be interesting to see uh, how it all goes. You know, the, the first game that the Raptors have played without Kobe Bryant in the Lakers lineup might look a little different. Actually, you know what? It will look a lot different. And you know what? It you got to move on, right? He was amazing. He was one of the best players, if not the best player, in the history of the game. It's arguable. Don't quote me on. No, he. I think he's the best. No, there's so many questions, and there's so many ways he was great and the best. Some ways he wasn't. Right? It's just it is what it is. But hey, win that you win five straight, and you you won the home stand. So that's you gotta you gotta take that advantage, right? So, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. I do appreciate that. It was a good, it was a good game to watch, nonetheless. Hit the subscribe button if you guys enjoyed the video. There's, hey, every game we're coming out. It's going to be great. Comment down below what you guys thought of the game. What do you think of the, the new DeMar DeRozan? Not the 30, 35, 40 point guy. The 24, but 9 boards and 6 assists. Which, which DeRozan do you like more? I personally like the guy who does the other things. That's why we love Kyle Lowry. Even if he doesn't do well uh, points-wise, he does other things. DeRozan did that today, even though he was shooting a good percentage. So let me know what you guys think. Who is your player of the game in this one? And we'll we'll talk to you guys in what, about an hour? Maybe less than that? Leafs post-game and Friday night, Raptors post-game. LA Lakers, Toronto Raptors. We'll see you guys then.